I'm happy that I did not buy the pay-per-view. I am a Devin fan, but I also know that he made a bad decision, very bad decision. He should not have fought uh, Levan again. And I've been saying this in my YouTube comments for a while. And I believe that he should have vacated the super heavyweight title and fought Levan at a later date. And if you take a look at Sun Tzu or Sun, Sun Zhao, I don't know the correct pronunciation, but I, we called him Sun Tzu. Uh, and Sun Tzu stated that if your opponent is stronger than you, do not fight that, that opponent. Do not, do not fight against an opponent that is stronger than you. Only fight if you know for certain that you will win. And the fact is that Levan is, is packed with steer white, basically arm wrestling in my opinion, has become a sport where the person who can take the most amount of steroids is the one that's going to actually win. And that is not good for the sport. And uh, the person who basically weighs the heaviest is going to win. Now, even in mixed martial arts, I believe that there is a weight limit for super heavyweights as well. There are certain weight limits, a uh, weight limit that the super heavyweights have to meet. Um, what I'm going to say is, is that um, the win, Levan's win, is not good for the sport of arm wrestling. It's not. And uh, Devon Larratt being the face of arm wrestling would have been good for the sport. And uh, people watch, watch arm wrestling mainly to watch uh, Devon Larratt. And uh, there are very few arm wrestlers, uh, uh, there are very few arm wrestling fans that will, that watch the entire event because they enjoy it. Like I do like Hermes, I do like uh, John Brzezink, I do like Sasho, I do like Unger Baev. However, I'm not going to buy the pay-per-view just to watch them. But for Devin Leverett, I, I would buy the pay-per-view. In fact, all of the pay-per-views that I bought were because Devin Leverett was part of the card. So, what we can learn from Devon Larratt versus Levan is do not fight against an opponent that you cannot cannot win against. And wait for the opponent to get weaker. Levan, eventually, his, uh, his steroid abuse is going to affect his health negatively. At that time, Devon should have, should have fought uh, Levan. Just like Denis Saplankov, uh, Devin Lert fought a weaker version of Denis Saplankov, not the prime version of Devin Saplankov. And, uh, there was like a, at that time, I also predicted that Devin might win the match. Uh, my prediction was incorrect. I thought he would win the match, um, with difficulty. That wasn't the case. Uh, he won the match relatively easy. I did not, I did not think that he would, uh, win, win the match easily. And for Hermes, the Hermes match, I thought that uh, Devon would lose. I was, I was incorrect. Uh, but for some reason, Hermes that day wasn't, I do not know he wasn't well or something happened to him. He shouldn't have lost that way because Hermes is definitely stronger than Devon. But uh, Devon, it was Devon's day. And yeah, so he won. Devon won. So... Uh, if you do not know, uh, Devon Larratt lost 4-0 to Levan and he lost like all, it was flash pins and I don't even think round one was something very spectacular. In round one, Devon stopped, uh, uh, Devon stopped Levan center table, but all, in the other rounds, he just lost like completely a flash pinned almost immediately. And people say it's because Devon was gassed, but, um, I think that's a very difficult for a lighter opponent to hold not only an arm, but the body that is attached to that arm and that body weighs nearly 400 pounds. So, uh, it, it shouldn't have been a surprise for people to see him lose. And, uh, this is what I believe. Devin Larratt should have vacated the super heavyweight title and fought in the weight classes. And when Levan was weaker, just to get his revenge, he should have, should have fought him. Even Devon, uh, when he is 56, 58, will be a formidable opponent to a weaker Levan who cannot use steroids anymore. And, uh, eventually, uh, Levan is going to pay for what he's doing. I know that for certain, uh, just like Dennis did. So my, my thoughts are 
this was bad for arm wrestling. This is sending the message to all arm wrestlers that you should take steroids and you should bulk up. And if your body can take the steroids and you can just level up using steroids and you can get heavier and heavier, then you will be basically a good arm wrestler. This is the message that most people probably got from arm wrestling that, oh, this guy, you know, he just takes like a ton of steroids and now he is strong and that's really the future of the sport that you and I love. So I didn't buy the pay-per-view. I'm glad because I knew that Devin would lose. I was not like, I was, I'm not going to waste my money. I just want to see him win. That's what I, that's what I pay for. And that's true. That's what you pay for. Because when you know that you're, that if you're, if you're, if the person that you're fighting has a chance to win, I don't want to waste my money. Don't want to waste my time. I saw the results in some YouTube videos and uh, performance enhancing pancakes uh, covered it. Concrete elbow covered it. And I, I knew that this would happen. So anyway, so this is basically my thoughts. And hopefully you'll learn something from this. Don't fight somebody that you cannot beat. Okay, don't do that. Sanzu said that.